We are officially kicking off a new era of astronomy. Yesterday, NASA releasing their first full color images from the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most powerful telescope ever launched into space. This decades long and multi billion dollar endeavor has finally paid off as our understanding of the universe could be forever changed. And here to tell us more about this historic image is former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino. Thank you so much for being with us, Mike. My pleasure. Thanks I mean, for having me, Amy. We're looking at the images. They look stunning and beautiful. No layman really understands what we're looking at, but you were describing this as a time machine of sorts. Yes, yeah, looking. This is a pretty good backdrop we got here. <laughs> That's pretty quick. You got it right back. We can you know, refer to this uh, to the wall here. Um, yeah, it is. It, a time machine is a good way to, to, I think, to describe it because you're actually seeing light that originated billions of years ago on its way to us. So when we're seeing this light. We're seeing it. We're seeing light that's billions of years old. So, for example, in, in this image, it's a uh, the, the image they've released so far. It's a cluster of galaxies that are about four and a half billion light years away, wow. and it's got remnants of galaxies of light that has been bent by this galaxy cluster. Some of these like swoopy things that you see in the image, they're from galaxies that are even further away, like 13 billion light years away, which gets very close to the origin of the universe, or what we think is the origin of That's the universe. Incredible. I love that astronauts can use words like swoopy, because that sounds like a word I would use. Very technical way. <laughs> you want to describe things very clearly when you're in space. Um, what is, yeah. what is uh, NASA, what, what are scientists hoping to learn from these images? What can we understand that we don't right now? Well, there's, there's two major objectives of why they built the, the Webb telescope. One was to build a very powerful telescope that could look deep in the past to try to see the very first light that originated at the birth of our universe. Wow. That's pretty heavy stuff. So the Hubble Space Telescope, I went and repaired it twice. I got to visit there. Great telescope, still working. But it couldn't quite get there, about 13 billion light years. You need an extra <laughs> 800 million years or so. So they're hoping to see that, so the ar to see the origins of the universe when it was formed, which is a big deal. And the second thing is looking at the uh, at far off planets, the atmospheres of far off planets being able to analyze those is and hopefully there life on other that's planets that's the whole idea I th you know we I don't know if we're going to find out about that today <laughs> with the announcements but maybe a few years from really? now we will or maybe hopefully sooner than that we're using the telescope I don't know about seeing life what they're really going to look for is signs of a place that might be habitable so looking for the signatures as they call them signs of life in the atmosphere as we know like our atmosphere distances from the sun and the temperature and right. so on that could support life a habitable planet as far as we're concerned that's what it's also going to be looking for so the both of those things would be really cool yeah really yeah. cool huge and you yeah. mentioned this is the image we have now but yep. there are more being released today do we have any idea what those are going to be of yeah one of them they've announced Amy is going to be one of these planets an exoplanet I don't think we're going to see any <laughs> life uh, signatures there necessarily I think it'll take a little time but I think we should try to remember the context of what these images mean right now. So when I was at the Hubble Space Telescope, we fixed it, we came back to Earth, and we kept our fingers crossed for a couple months to see the first images that came back to see that we didn't break it, right? It's still, it's working. We didn't break it, we're off the hook, right? This is kind of what that is for the, for the Webb Telescope. It's very far away from us. You can't go there to fix it, a million miles away. So these first images are just really uh, the, saying that the, the, the telescope is working. It's, uh, it's verifying that it can do the science it wants to do. So it's really just the first few early release images that we're seeing now. And what we're going to see in the future, I think, is going to be scientifically more profound and more important. And in addition to the things that they're looking for, what I'm, I'm excited about is what we don't know to even ask right now. And that's yeah. what happened with Hubble. Hubble, they were looking for black holes. They found them. Looking for planets and other solar systems, they found them. But they also tripped on a few things, sort of, like the discovery of dark energy, which is an energy source that we can't really explain. The universe is accelerating. And that, uh, that resulted in the awarding of a Nobel Prize based on that work. So I think with this powerful telescope, much more powerful than Hubble is, I think they're going to be finding things that we don't even know to ask about yet. That's and that's crazy. Really, really yeah, when you think about I it think. like this, this, these images, this yeah. telescope really will change possibly how we see the universe yeah. and, and what we even know of the universe right now. Yeah, there are some big. We've answered a lot of questions. You know, we've found out a lot of things about stuff over the you know the centuries, decades, years, more recently even. But there's still some of those big yeah. questions that we need to answer. Yeah, how did it all start? How did the universe begin? 
and is there a possibility of life other places and hopefully we'll get some info on that coming up so stay tuned yes this is just a sample this is so cool yeah please and please come back mike because oh, we need your expertise uh, we lo appreciate you being Thanks with for having us me. you bet well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.